Well, we are currently about three weeks into the governor's stay home, stay safe order, and some people in Michigan are fed up. This is video from the state capitol this morning showing people protesting with the order uh, with traffic backups and picket lines on the streets in Lansing. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Doug Reard. And I'm Dana Salen. As we've reported, that stay-at-home order is now in effect through the end of this month. Fox 7 Michael Martin joining us live after hearing from those who are upset that it was extended. Michael? Yeah, guys, like you said, a real lively day here around the Capitol. I'll step out of the way. At this point, only an hour ago, it was quite busy on this road. Nothing there at this point. But the original plan was to have everybody in their vehicles, inside their vehicles, driving in the streets around the Capitol building. So you can see they have left only in about the last half hour, though. A couple people did end up getting out of their vehicles, making their way into the lawn in front of the Capitol. Uh, but every Everybody here just trying to make sure that the governor hears what it is they have to say. It's been too long. We've been shut down too long. And that's the sentiment Wednesday afternoon in downtown Lansing. Let Michigan get back to work. We understand that the virus is serious. We also understand that at some point we have to have a balance of getting back to work. Several thousand people took to the streets around the Capitol for the in vehicle rally organized by the Michigan Conservative Coalition. Despite the group urging against it, some of the attendees did get out of their vehicles to demonstrate. This is a, a giant representation of the state of Michigan right now, the working force, and they want to get back to work. And I think we've done what was asked of us, and we're going to continue to do that. But some of her restrictions don't make any sense to the common people. A group of business owners and contractors from West Michigan met at the Alden Nash Park and Ride in Lowell Wednesday morning to set off towards Lansing together. I mean, look at all these work, these work trucks pulling and everybody wants to work. Everybody wants to work safely. And if there's guidelines that we can follow as employers, we can implement these, these safety guidelines. We want to support people getting healthy and stuff. But what's not right is a governor dictating what people can and cannot do for their safety. While voices and car horns were loud, the rally remained peaceful. Those participating hoping to get the governor to reevaluate the stipulations of her stay home order. Maybe have a little bit more empathy and maybe think about the people that are actually struggling that don't want to go on public assistance. Is there a virus out there? Yes. And, you know, are people dying? Yes. And is this sad? Yes. But there are ways that we can take precautions. We can do it safely. And we don't need to go to the extreme of entirely closing down. Now, we, there were some concerns over Sparrow Hospital being so close to this gridlock in downtown Lansing. We did reach out to them. They said no major concerns today besides a couple of slowdowns that some of their ambulances were seeing when going through the city. We have more information available in our web article at fox17online.com. For now, though, live in Lansing, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. All right, thank you for that, Michael. Governor Wimmer giving an update on COVID-19 today while that was going on, including a response to those protesters. In the address uh, that started around 4 p.m., the governor said that we we're seeing progress in Michigan, both in the numbers of new cases and in securing PPE for healthcare workers. She says that more than 3.5 million pieces of PPE have been donated by people and businesses, and the state is continuing to work to get more. But she says this is not the time to stop social distancing or to end the stay at home order, although she says she does support the rights of the people who were in Lansing today to protest. I support your right to free speech and I respect your opinions. I just urge you, don't put yourself at risk and don't put others at risk either. I was really disappointed to see people congregating, not wearing masks. I saw someone handing out candy to little kids, barehanded. You know, when people are flying the Confederate flag and untold numbers who gassed up on the way here or grabbed a bite on the way home, we know that this rally endangered people. This kind of activity will put more people at risk. And sadly, it could prolong the amount of time we have to be in this posture. The governor says she's continuing to work on a plan to gradually get Michigan back to work, but says that doing so too soon or too quickly may lead to a second wave of the virus.